Welcome to Bit One Grade. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make automatic trading bot using Python language. I will use the Bollinger Band, which is one of the most popular strategies. Uh, the Bollinger Bands are uh, have been used in uh, not just cryptocurrency but also uh, stocks, bond market. Every uh, this is one of the basic strategies that. Uh, traders use and uh, today I'm going to use the Bollinger Band for one minute data and basically uh, the Bollinger Band uh, uh, strategy buys if the price is above the upper band and sells if the price is below the lower band so let me show you this uh, this is the Binance uh, uh, by the way uh, th this Program, program is for the Binance market. So you, if you if you look at this chart, there are three lines, right? So upper, this is the and, and this is the Bollinger Band. Uh, so there's the upper band and center band and lower band. And how is this? Uh, how are these uh, lines are calculated? So according. According to the Bollinger Band, the upper band is calculated by the moving average plus uh, some designated width times standard deviation. And the uh, lower band is calculated by the uh, moving average minus uh, designated uh, width times uh, standard deviation. And the center line is the moving average. So, uh, so here we go. So, uh, this this program starts with a while true. This this is used uh, to create a uh, infinite loop. So, so this this program will run until uh, some some condition are met. And and. The, and we need a uh, API key and API secret key uh, for this program. Uh, we need this because uh, in order to access your Binance account, we need this. And you can get uh, this from the Binance account. You you can make one from your Binance account, and 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 you, you can replace this part like something 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 from your account. And, and it has to be in string form like this. So, so. And, and we need to use the client command from the. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, and and uh, and we need to use some libraries for this program. And the first one is the pandas, and daytime. And Binance client, and you can install this from your uh, command prompt using pip install and uh, Python Binance by like this. You can use this, okay? And we need the time library, NumPy, and request. Okay, and uh, we need to define which symbol we are going to use. So, uh, for this example, I'm going to use the Ripple XRP BUSD. But you you can uh, use this program for other other uh, other products like like uh, Bitcoin. Or something else, and and you need to set uh, the quantity, the order quantity, how much you're going to buy or sell. And there's one restriction uh, uh, following the Binance policy. Uh, Binance requires that each order has to be above the 10 USDT. 
So, so make sure that uh, the each order is above 10 USDT. Otherwise, the orders will not go in. And I'm going to define the uh, Bollinger Band length and width. The length will be 20 and width uh, to be uh, 20. Uh, no, no, the width will be 2. Uh, this is the standard specification for uh, Bollinger Band, but you can you can adjust it uh, uh, following your preference. And uh, and I'm going to define what Bollinger Band is, and and this definition uh, has a need a four input: the symbol, width, interval value, and length. So let's say I'm I'm going to use the one minute data. So I'm I'm going to uh, put condition that uh, I'm going to make a conditions for a one minute data. So one key and and the start str. This will um, give command to uh, to to Binance. So so that uh, this this will ask Binance to give us the historic data up to 100 minutes ago and interval data will be 1 minute and see and client get historical k lines this is the command to get the candlestick uh, historic data so So and this have a, and this command requires three conditions. Symbol, which symbol? The which historical data are we going to ask? So symbol and uh, how far we go back. So so here we define that we go back up to hundred minutes ago. And interval data the the, the size of candle will be one minute. And and this command will return many things, but we are not going to use all of them. But but you can uh, just in case you you, uh, you need more uh, data or uh, just for uh, um, other strategies. Uh, I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, so uh, this will return open time open time, open, high, low, close, volume, close time, uh, etc. So once we get the historical data, uh, we are going to set the index to be the open data date time. And then and the, the, the main data will be the closed data. We, we are going to calculate the Bollinger Bands based on the closed price data. And uh, because uh, the, the historical Binance gives us uh, price data in string, we need to change it to float form so that we can do calculations. String forms uh, doesn't allow us to like uh, uh, mathematical calculation. Uh, and we are going to use only close and we are going to resample it based on the interval unit and and uh, and we are going to use the width to uh, calculate the band uh, band 1 which is needed to calculate the upper band and uh, lower band high and low and the center will be the the, the moving average and the band one is calculated by the width, the, the unit width, and the standard deviation for the designated uh, period. And the, this definition will return uh, upper band, center band, and lower band. And and we are going to use the definition to produce the Bollinger band for the one minute data, like this. Okay. 
uh, and, and I, I put a print command here to, to actually to, to see to see whether we are uh, we are doing right job or not and once we calculated the uh, Bollinger Band we need uh, the, the market price the current market price so uh, so here So we have to connect to the Binance server again for the current market price. And this will return some uh, JSON file. And, and uh, from the JSON file, if you use this command, this will return uh, last price. And uh, as I said earlier, uh, this strategy uh, sells uh, uh, short if the last price if, if the current price is the uh, is above the upper Bollinger Band then we are going to sell and if the uh, current price the last price is the lower than the uh, lower band then we are going to buy so say let's say the price is here then we are going to sell its price is here we're going to buy so that's the basic idea of, of this strategy so uh, and if if the condition is not met I, I put the uh, try and accept so if it, this loop just passes if the condition is not met and I put time dot uh, slip uh, uh, parenthesis one uh, because uh, there's a API restriction uh, binance. So if you if you connect, if you request like too many, uh, too, if you request data too frequently from the binance server, uh, they will uh, they will uh, stop you. So uh, I I put uh, a time slip here and. Uh, Let's uh, run this program and see if it is really working. So uh, let's see. Okay. You can you can see. So one minute upper center lower. This is the upper center and lower. So if the price. See, if the last price is above this, above, above the first number, then if the, this program will sell. And if the price is uh, lower than the, the third number, then it will buy. And this is the last price. This is the last price. It's the most recent price. So, but, uh, uh, let's see, 0.29216. This is uh, still within uh, between the upper and lower band, so uh, nothing nothing is triggered. And and uh, I I put break here because I don't want uh, uh, this program to place order indefinitely. So so once. I, I put a break so that uh, once order is made, this program stops. This this this, this command uh, breaks the infinite loop that I'm using here. But you can uh, you can customize this program uh, following your uh, customized uh, uh, strategies. And uh, this is uh, basically this is it. Uh, I, I hope that um, you can you can use this uh, code to for more uh, customized uh, strategies and uh, I, I hope you like this um, tutorial and uh, if you like this uh, if you like this please uh, subscri subscribe subscribe this channel and if you uh, if if you have any uh, interesting strategy please let me know maybe I can uh, make code and uh, share with you. Uh, thank you.